Okay, here is the fully assembled taxi data logger, and I'm just going to show you how I put my enclosure together. So, first of all, it's uh, I mounted everything on medium density fiber board or MDF, um, and you can see here that I've have some screw holes for the Raspberry Pi, and I've also added ventilation holes so that the air can get into the enclosure uh, for the sensors, because we're measuring air quality, so obviously we need air. Um, I've added some screening here to prevent you know, insects or maybe some water drops from going in. I'm not really too concerned about water here um, in Lima, just because of the fact that uh, it's technically a desert and it doesn't rain here much at all. Um, but in the name of safety, I've also added some standoffs here, uh, to make sure everything's lifted up the bottom of the board just in case some water or something does get in. Um, around the edges, I put some 3M Velcro um, just to hold the taxi sign down uh, so it doesn't flap about in the wind. There are screw holes that will be mounting it physically to the taxi, so I'm not really concerned about it flying off, but I am worried about it just vibrating when it hits the wind on the edge like that. Um, one thing you'll notice immediately is that the battery that I'm using here, this is an external cell phone battery, um, is not the one that I listed um, in the bill of materials, which is a Power Boost 1000C and a lithium ion battery. Um, unfortunately, due to some shipping issues, I wasn't able to get the lithium ion battery in time. I was able to get the Power Boost 1000C, and you can see there that it's a lot smaller. Um, if you're doing your own build, I really recommend that you use the 1000C um, just because of the fact that um, it's smaller and um, you can actually charge the battery at the same time as providing power to the Raspberry Pi, which is going to be really useful if you decide to take this project a little bit further and say uh, power the sensor board from the car, of course using a, a step-down converter from 12 volts to 5 volts. Um, then you'll be able to have a, get a much more longer operational life out of your uh, taxi data logger without having to take it into recharge periodically. One other thing here is you'll note there is connected to the USB port, there is a FTDI USB to serial converter. And I have that connected there because I actually have two peripherals that are using serial. The one is the particle sensor and the other is the GPS board. Unfortunately, the Raspberry Pi only has one serial port and it's a software serial port. Um, so we actually have a hardware UART here, which is actually pretty useful because I've heard uh, from discussions online that some people with the just the software UART have difficulty keeping up with a, uh, a data stream with a lot of information. So this, this will cause less CPU load and probably be a little bit more reliable when getting information from the uh, GPS and the particle sensor produces a little bit less information, so we should be okay just using the software you are there. Um, note too that I've oriented the sensor. Um, there's a fan on this side and there's an intake vent here. I've oriented it perpendicular to the airflow just because I don't think it would be uh, to spec if I'm forcing uh, air through the sensor in the direction of the airflow, so I wanted to just sit the air as it goes by as opposed to being directly in the flow because otherwise I may get erroneous values. Um, the connector here that I've got, um, it's really just a, a hack together thing. Um, I listed in the bill of materials, um, I actually listed a Molex cable that has two ends. I suggest you just cut it and attach some pin connectors to it, which is what I've done because um, crimping Molex connectors is quite hard. Um, but you can, but if you chop a table and a cable into, you should be able to make a connector. Um, yeah, and finally, the last thing that I want to mention is in the bill of materials, I included I included this. This is an active GPS antenna uh, with a little pigtail attached to it to connect to the GPS board. Now, the, you don't actually need this when you're operating the taxi data logger um, in the field. The only reason to have it is if you're doing work and you're testing this on your desktop and you don't have an open view of the sky, you can connect this little end up to the uh, GPS board and you can take the 
active GPS antenna, put it somewhere next to a window or somewhere that has an open view of the sky so you can actually do all your testing and development without having to uh, take the whole thing outside or next to a window every time you want to, uh, you want to test something out. Um, okay, and that's, that's really all I have to show you. Um, I'll just plug it in here as one last step so that you can see how it looks. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi is powering on there and in a few minutes this will be running and receiving information from the sensors and logging data.